Live from the campus of MIT in Cambridge, Massachusetts, it's theCUBE. Covering the MIT Chief Data Officer and the Information Quality Symposium. Now, here are your hosts, Stu Miniman and George Gilbert. Hi everyone, welcome to our live coverage, the Cube's live coverage of the MIT Chief Data Officer and Information Quality Conference, known as CDOIQ. It doesn't exactly roll off the tongue, but it's a conference that has been going on here at MIT for uh, 13 years now. Uh, this is our fourth year of coverage of the Cube, live coverage for two days, streaming here from the floor of the Tang Center in uh, at the MIT campus in Cambridge, Massachusetts. I'm Paul Gillen, I'm here with my cohort, my colleague, Stu Miniman, hey, who is, uh, who is a, a first timer here at the CDO IQ conference. We're we'll interested in getting your, uh, your perspective, Stu, after uh, getting a sense of what this conference is like compared to some of the very big events that you go to. This is a, a, an intimate conference, there are only about 300 attendees here, but really outstanding speakers they, they get here. There's the the uh, roster this year is full of chief data officer titles. We just heard from the Under Secretary of the Department of Defense, uh, all kinds of government titles here, uh, lots of senior executives. We've got several CEOs on the program of, of large companies like Blue Cross Life. Uh, so it's a very senior audience, it's an audience that has a lot of responsibility for data, and the, to the topics that they have been discussing over the last four years that we've been doing our live coverage have changed so much. Uh, four years ago, it was, a, it was a much more of an academic event, it was a lot of, of uh, technical talk about data quality and, uh, and metadata and, and the, the specifics of managing data, and now they've sort of raised the game now. It's much more about the, the high-level governance role, the uh, big, big data and its strategic role in the organization. Um, just interested, Stu, as a first-timer, how did the agenda strike you? Yeah, uh, it, I, first of all, thanks, Paul. I'm really excited to be here. I, I know Dave Vellante is disappointed he couldn't be here, so I'm filling in for his shoes. Uh, I've done a couple of MIT events in the, in the past, and they're always exciting, and, and a little bit different from uh, some of the academic bit, uh, events that you get uh, compared to some of the big tech shows that you said that, that, that I'm usually at. Um, so, right, you know, where does the CEO fit in the organization? Uh, uh, one of the speakers this morning talked about big G and little g, when when it comes to governance, so what is policy, what is automation, what is organizational, how do all those things fit together? Uh, we've got a lot of CDOs on the agenda here. I was going back uh, watching uh, you, Paul, uh, and uh, Dave Vellante doing some of the interviews from the previous years, and you're right, this started out as kind of the data quality, you know, go information governance, uh, you know, the, the whole wave of big data, how that plays into everything here, um, and uh, you know, this fits now into to a lot of the, the, the broader themes that we've been tracking lately about uh, the digital transformation. So as companies go into digital transformation, of course, the, the data is one of the most important assets that people have. I mean, it's your people and your data. It's like those are the, you know, kind of the two of the you know, uh, cornerstones that you're going to make up your company out of. So you know, how that's matured. And you know, we've got a great slate of uh, guests on some really interesting panels. And we're going to be able to give our audience a good flavor of what's going on uh, at this event for the next two days which is uh, pretty exciting. And we're going to be talking a lot about the CDO role. It's really, really been a recurring theme of this event is the evolution of the CDO. Uh, you know, four years ago, there weren't many people who had the title of CDO. Now we see a lot of those titles uh, throughout the, the Fortune 1000, but, but not a real clear definition of the role. It seems like it's, it takes different forms in different organizations, different reporting structures, uh, some are more technical uh, roles, some more strategic role, and, and it seems like this is a, uh, a, a position that is still very much taking shape. Yeah, uh, actually, and I, what I liked is this isn't just a bunch of academics sitting around saying what should be in the future, but trying to have groups and the practitioners that are doing things are actually going to help uh, drive results. So uh, in the morning keynote this morning, they said that they're looking to create not only a, a, a definition, but a job description that they can put out in the public. You know, put it up on Wikipedia, uh, put it where they need to be, uh, and so that the community can leverage that. So you've, you've got the, this blending of, uh, you know, the, the public sector, uh, the, the uh, uh, enterprises that are doing this, and uh, the academics all coming together to help move the industry forward. And incidentally, at this event, uh, was just announced today, the organization of the, the debut of the Institute for Chief Data Officers, which is a group that was created by the organizers of the MIT 
CDO IQ event. Uh, I believe they have 100 founding uh, members and uh, chief data officers, some very blue chip companies, and really the first efforts that we've seen to bring together uh, people around this evolving title to, uh, to try to give it some definition and, uh, and some staying power in organizations. Uh, with that though, we're going to uh, wrap up this uh, quick introduction. We're going to get right on to our, to our first guest, uh, Lawrence Whitman and uh, John Talbert, who will talk about the Institute for Chief Data Officers. Uh, this is Paul Gillen. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stick that over there. I think I'm going to 